Hi everybody, welcome to my branding series. Today we'll be talking about visual branding and ways to create your design language for your business, your personal business, so that it could help resonate with customers and really just maximize every part and aspect of your visual experience. In this branding series, we'll be talking about ways just to really hone in your brand and make it a cohesive experience for yourself and your customers so that you can make the right decisions as you go forward. So a part of building a very strong cohesive brand is really by defining certain things in your visual language that you reflect on and you really stick to time and time again as you're making different business decisions, different design decisions, and we're gonna be talking about different elements to bring it all together. And these elements are identity, logos, color, typography, visual language, and copy guidelines. So here we go. All right, everybody. Today we'll be talking about brand identity. And your brand identity is basically your core, your skeleton, the bones of your business. So it really takes time to develop these things. And what you wanna do is write them down, have somebody look at it, express it to somebody, and taking your time with making sure that these elements of your identity are right before you start anything. So these elements are, firstly, your mission. What is the mission of your business? What is the mission that you wanna accomplish day in, day out when you create things? It sounds very grand because it is grand and your mission really should be the answer to a lot of your decision making as a business. So if you've written a resume or if you went to college, you might have written out a mission statement. This is essentially the same thing, but for your business. It's basically a very strong one to two sentences about what your mission is as a business. So again, if you have a mentor or people you trust, share your mission with them and see if it really resonates. Have them say it back to you and if they are picking up what you're putting down, then you're hitting the right path with your mission. The next thing you want to write out is your value proposition. This is a marketing term. Uh, most of these are marketing terms anyway, but what is your value that you're proposing to the customer or to the world? What do you promise as a, a piece of value that you're offering for these people? Depending on how your business is structured really, it could be short, it could be a paragraph long. And now this next one is kind of fun. This is your tagline. Um, this is an optional one, but usually your tagline is used in advertising. If you are gonna create any advertising, it's really nice to have a short, punchy statement about your business that can be memorable. Just do it. Whose brand is that? You know, it's Nike. So just do it is the tagline. Sometimes it takes a really long time to just to arrive at really good taglines, something that hasn't been said before, but something that also encompasses you as a business. But trust me, if you come up with a really good tagline, people will never forget it. And the last part is actually my favorite part. It's my favorite part because I tend to reference these things a lot while I'm making designs for ads, for printed material, anything. And this is your personality. So what is your brand personality? What are adjectives to describe your brand? Really, it could be any amount of adjectives that you want, but I like to keep the list pretty short. Definitely under 10 adjectives of what your personality would be. Five, excellent. Two, that's a little too less. So what are some adjectives for your brand personality? Some examples are modern, playful, uh, classic. So encompassing adjectives that you list out that you can reference all the time. All right, guys. So just to recap how to start building out your brand identity, you want to write out a mission. You want to write out 
value proposition, a tagline, maybe, and personality. I highly recommend just to start here before you start building any other parts of your visual brand and it'll really help define who you want to be and create a consistency for your customers and for yourself. In the next video, I'll be talking about logos and tips to really maximize the logo design that you choose. So thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you over at the discussion about branding and creating a logo.